we was invited to the Fertilla in Rome by Poverty Truth Glasgow. Four of us were chosen and this Fertilla was a mission of mercy. We went through different stages, heard different testimonies. The Pope listened to the testimonies, then spoke to us about how he felt about poverty. Each day we did something different. On the Friday we went to the auditorium and that's where we heard testimonies and listened to the Pope and got the blessing from the Pope. Uh, the next day, in the morning, all the countries that spoke the same language met at separate churches to have a workshop before a mass together. After that, we headed to the Vatican City for uh, a candlelit vigil. And then the next day was the Vatican with the mass which was beautiful and then we were all in St Peter's walls where the priest came, uh, the Pope came out and sent us out now on our mission. Now what struck me about um, about seeing the Pope um, was watching him with other people and seeing how friendly he was and how much of a people person mm. he was and how he didn't like people to fall on the knees at his feet and anyone that did that he pulled them straight up and the smile mm. the smile <coughs> was just so I don't know so sweet just yes, so sweet captivating just, yeah just took took you in there yeah there was a presence in that room that touched as far as I can tell everybody in one way or another and it's hard you can't describe the feeling. Um, and it's not that I hold the Pope up there. It's just his... You could see how humble he is. Um, one person that had given the testimony fell to the knees and he immediately got hold of their arms and pulled them up and shook his head. That struck me and a lot of the others from Glasgow, the way the Pope had listened. You know, the way he listens, because everything he'd listened to, he then spoke about when he was speaking. Every time he spoke to us, it were about respecting everybody's dignity. Dignity yeah. came into everything. Yeah. Dignity, care and kindness, and using your time well. It, it's beyond words, you can't explain it, it's just, t to be part of it was just amazing. I well, see Mary in Mass going up to do the prayer, was it was exciting because you know, she's in the Vatican of all places and she's walking up with her hands in the prayer position to do a prayer in front of the Pope, which, you know, as a friend, that's like, that's my friend. There was rows and rows and rows of cardinals and bishops and dignitaries. And our little Mary walks along really strong and went up into the pulpit and said the prayer. And she was so calm and it was so it was just another day and she was just she was saying this prayer uh, and everybody was listening it was really a privilege <coughs> to actually do that you know but you didn't realize what you were doing until you got in that pulpit and saw all them thousands of people and then you thought oh oh don't go wrong <laughs> please don't go wrong on the pilgrimage there were um Three and a half thousand, yeah, at least three and a half at thousand least. people taking part, and like you said, they were all different nationalities. Yeah, um, but everybody knew why we were there. 
not everybody was a Catholic, not everybody was a Christian, but we were all united and it was a display to the world that people come together. They were a sense of fun that as soon as you got out of bed on the morning, <laughs> even though they want, it wasn't that type of thing and we were all engaging in it spiritually, but it was fun. It was. It was just fun from beginning to end. It was one of the best experiences yeah. of my life and I'm 65 years old. And that was a truly amazing experience in every aspect. I can't believe one minute I were crying, next minute I were laughing, and the next minute I were crying, we're laughing. <laughs> <laughs> there was one thing that we didn't like. Pasta. No, apart from the pasta, <coughs> we couldn't have a decent cup of tea. Oh, no. I think I was getting withdrawal symptoms for tea. 